So hey there, everybody. Before we get into today's topic, I wanted to share this with you. Today's topic is brought to you by ChatGPT. Um, just a couple of days ago, another YouTuber who I follow along with had posted an interesting challenge. He said, you know, ask ChatGPT to help you with some titles. And uh, so I decided to, for today's talk, um, utilize ChatGPT for our title again. So what I asked it, I said, write 10 better titles for my next YouTube video about drone construction progression being more than just 2D and 3D models. Because drone construction progression can be a lot more than just 2D and 3D models. So did we do a good job on the title? Well, you're here, so hopefully we did a good job on the title. And I just want to look at a couple of these. So it gave me 10 ideas. It was really, really quick about it. Reimagining drone construction, moving beyond 2D and 3D models. Well, we're, we don't want to move beyond it. We do utilize those, but they're not necessary. They're not the final end-all, be-all deliverable. So revolutionizing the skies, eh, I don't like that one so much. Breaking the mold in drone construction and uh, exploring new possibilities. This one sounds really good because we are going to talk about breaking the mold a little bit. We're going to think beyond just that deliverable today. Um, so, yeah, the, it gave me 10 topics and some of them, you know, I could mix and match these things and really utilize them well. So very exciting. And, um, you know, it's neat to see how technology is just blowing ahead and how many of us are trying out chat GPT. If you haven't tried it yet, go have some fun with it. It's really interesting. Now, let's talk about what I wanted to uh, to relay to you today. So this week I had a conversation with one of my clients and let's switch things up here. Let's change screens. Let's go to my see my build. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and switch the video view of me. And all right, so we switched the video view really quick just so that we can look at this uh, large screen. So number one, if you've been a regular to this channel, you should know we've been talking a lot about our See My Build website, some of the projects we're doing, how we're delivering our final results to our clients. And um, I wanted to talk to you about you know what we're doing in our uh, drone construction progression reporting, what's necessary, what's not necessary. So on YouTube, a lot of people have been talking about 2D and 3D modeling for drone pilots and doing photogrammetry, and it's a lot of fun. Back in 2017, when I was studying for my Part 107 exam, I learned that I could make maps and models um, with my drones, and that blew my mind. Uh, I like doing mapping and modeling. Back in the day, back in New Hampshire, I was backpacking all the time on the weekends. Love topographic maps from the Appalachian uh, Mountain Club, and I enjoy all sorts of maps. It's a weird side thing for me. So learning that I could do maps and models for uh, drone work just put me on a learning path, and a lot of you have been with me on this learning curve that I've been going through. Now, this week I talked to one of my clients, one of the clients that I'm dealing with for the Solstice Project, and so I'm just clicking onto the Solstice Project. This is one of the one of the uh, new builds that we're tracking along with, and you know, I was talking to the client and they were saying to me, you know, um, not only are your progression reports, number one, they felt very unique in the industry. So thank you. I don't think they're that unique. I was trying to find an easy way to deliver content to people um, beyond, you know, architectural engineers and builders. I wanted to be able to give presentations that a normal person could look at and go, I see what's happening on that site. I see the changes on that site. I totally get it and do that in an easy to use and read format. What better way than to actually put it into a web presentation where the client has access to everything. So this particular customer said to me, just, you know, I just got to let you know, Rich, um, you know, we're doing a lot of build outs. They're a national company. And as they're looking for venture capital, as they're looking for investors, they are utilizing the flights that we are doing for them as part of their presentations now. So not only is this information making it back to them, letting them know how the project is going, you know, what's on schedule, what's not on schedule, they're using this as a selling point to future investors. So how you deliver your final products to your clients, um, you can do it in a variety of ways. We could do PDFs, we could do PowerPoint presentations, keynote presentations, uh, we could dump everything in a Dropbox, or we can take a little bit of extra time and really give a custom presentation to that client that lets them know that they are unique um, in your portfolio. So this is one of the reasons why we started building the See My Build site the other year. 
was I wanted to make it easy to use, easy to share. I mean, it's a web page, guys, right? So that means you can take the link and send it to someone else and go, hey, look at what this company is doing, this construction group is doing. You know, see how they're on schedule and, you know, see what's coming up. They're actually ahead of schedule even. That's absolutely amazing. Maybe, maybe we as uh, other builders out there, we want to collaborate with them on some new community. Um, so you're not just making these uh, deliverables for your client. You're making these deliverables for your future or their future clients, excuse me. Now, I want to say in all of these, I am using uh, 2D ortho mosaic maps. Absolutely. And we're also doing a little 3D model because the clients like it. But that's not, you know, that's not the primary piece of information we're giving to them. We're also doing these video flights every couple of weeks to show the changes in video. So if I click on this, and some of you have probably seen this already or similar segments of it, and you're going to see this project popping up on this channel because this is one of our uh, new projects for 2023. We've got others coming along and you'll see similar things to this for those as well. But so on this time lapse video, simple video sliding, uh, you know, we're just sliding right along the build site there, but it gives you a total feel for what's happening there. And it gives you a total feel for what's different from your last site visit. So this is a powerful tool for our clients, um, not only to find out what's happening to their site, but like I said, using it in their own marketing and pitch information down the road. So scrolling further down there's that two-dimensional ortho mosaic map and we've got our little before and after slider going on again of course we do have the full-size tiff file for the clients as well if they need to overlay that on their own maps that's always available to them and we do store this stuff on dropbox for them but we make this presentation um, for an easy quick reference for them. Now, if they're interested, if they're doing another presentation, this is um, one other client, I totally forgot about this, but another client had a presentation this week and they're doing a nonprofit, uh, they're doing a nonprofit setup and they just wanted to be able to share with some other folks who are gonna be donating to this nonprofit, um, you know, what's going on. And one of the things they said to me was, hey, Rich, you know, I need to get the videos from you for our project because the location that we're at does not have good internet. I don't want to depend on that. I want to download some of the videos that we put together, um, you know, for this particular project. Well, on our layouts, we actually will let the clients do a download. So right over here, we've got a download button so they can download that video and they can use that video offline in their presentations. Since I heard this week that my work is being presented to future investors, I'm going to have that in mind as we continue doing some of these um, some of these presentations. So one, one of the big parts of this going beyond 2D and 3D uh, mapping and modeling is just to let you know, maybe you don't have all these tools or the skills yet, but maybe you're a really great drone pilot. Maybe you're doing some amazing video for clients, um, amazing stills for clients. Uh, you know, you, these are deliverables as well. So I, I keep seeing the 2D and 3D mapping and modeling jumbled together with deliverables. These are separate things. Deliverables are the final product. Those models and maps can be part of the final product, but they're not the only components. So if you're thinking to yourself about doing construction sites or other types of sites, or maybe infrastructure and things, what other things can you do right now? Well, you're probably able to do um, 360 degree imaging. Uh, you've got your video on your side. You've got the still images. You can do time-lapse still images. So it's not a race and a rush to get into 2D and 3D modeling. Photogrammetry is a lot of fun. I absolutely love it. And so I'm having a good time doing these things, but I just want to let the new folks out there know that um, your final deliverables are more than just maps and models. Your final deliverables can be, you know, um, what am I thinking here? We could be shooting rooftops, uh, you know, for uh, for hot points and cool points. So if you've got a drone that can actually do um, that kind of imaging, there's another thing you can do and that can be part of deliverables and it can be put into a presentation like this. Now, if you're interested in how we're doing our web-based presentations, pop on over to classes.azdrone.net and check out our course on building custom web pages for your clients. The course is utilizing WordPress and Elementor, which is a plug-in to WordPress. And that's how we're building all 
all these pages and how we build custom templates for ourselves so that we're not reinventing the wheel every time we get back from a client site we actually have a fast streamlined process that makes it really easy on us once we're offloaded and ready to share with the clients so go ahead and check that out over at classes.azdrone.net and I'm going to let you guys go with this. I hope that the uh, new titling actually brought in some new folks. Feel free to ask questions and comments down below. Also, down below, there's a new little button called Super Thanks. And so I activated that recently. I didn't know that was available to me on YouTube. But for those of you who'd like to support this channel, we do have our Patreon channel, where you can actually make donations through that Super Thanks right down below. So check it out. It's still new to me as well, and we'll see how it works. See you on the next video, everyone. Fly safe. Have a lot of fun.